what up what up what up guys it's blackwing 2040 and um this is actually gonna be a movie review guys because today i just saw star wars episode 8 the last jedi and oh my gosh what's a film oh my gosh and of course this is a non-spoiler review i'm not spoiling anything this oh my gosh i can't spoil nothing from this movie at all i'm just gonna mm, man this movie gosh i can tell you this this movie had me on the edge of my seat not just one but more than one time like probably like five or six times this movie had me at the edge of my seat that's how great it was but man so of course starring in this movie you have two of the original actors mark hamill and the late carrie fisher who had a really, really good send-off in this movie, if, if I may say. She had a really great send-off. Um, John Boyega as Finn, <clears throat> uh, Daisy Ridley as Poe, and... I mean, I mean, oh, sorry, Daisy Ridley as Ray. Oops, I'm so sorry. And Oscar Isaac as Poe, my gosh. And you got a fair share of um, new characters as well. A couple of some old faces from The Force Awakens make a return to this. And of course you got Chewbacca in this movie. But uh, oh my gosh, where do I begin? Or how I could just di dissect this movie, my gosh. I can tell you this though, in this movie, Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher, I say this is probably their greatest Star Wars performances ever. Like, this is probably their best performances as Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Oh my gosh, that's how epic it was. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot Adam Savage as uh, Kylo Ren. Who my you? Oh my gosh, if you thought you loved Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens, you're gonna love this guy even more in this movie. Cause there are so many things that happens in this movie I just can't explain or just say. But I just I I could say how great it is like over like ten thousand times I could just say that, but. Through the, um, <clears throat> I can, can tell you about, you know, the character relationships that's developed in this movie. It's just so incredible. Between Luke and Rey and how, you know, just by what you saw in the trailers and how they connect with each other or what they do and how he tries to teach Rey the ways of the Force. It's just amazing. It's just, it's just wow. And Finn... I could say he has his fair share of action in, in this movie. I feel like Finn is sort of like, I want to say he's like the new Han Solo, but then again, he's not really. Finn is like his own person, but here he evolves more, and he really develops more from when he was Force Awakens to now. That That's a really great thing. Um, Poe, he's more of a, he's a more of an airhead in this movie. He's a much more of an airhead in this movie. Kind of cocky a little bit from time to time. But that's just... That's just saying... That's just how his personality is. Especially as a pilot. His pilot skills still never go unnoticed. But, uh... My gosh. We do have a new character in this movie. I Her character name is Rose. I just forgot who the actress that plays her um, part... I should have had, had this up before. <clears throat> but yeah, this new character in this movie is named Rose, and I was amazed by um her performance. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, here we are. So Kelly Marie Tran plays Rose Tico, who's um a member of the Resistance, and she's pretty much one of those characters that um. She's one of those nobody characters that starts up, but then gets better later on in the movie. And I love those kind of things with those characters. But every one thing I was as I was watching this movie with all the plot points and what was left off from The Force Awakens to now, by the time I got to the end of this movie, it left me with so many unanswered questions that still haven't yet to be answered. But that's what puts... I love how this movie really does put you on the edge of your seat because this I would say this Star Wars movie it's a mixture of Empire Strikes Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi combined so 
that's what I how so epic it is and oh my gosh without revealing anything who knows what we're in for for episode 9 because I know that will be the last episode for the sequel trilogy and if I know with the end of trilogies if you're gonna go out you gotta go out with a bang but I feel like in this movie they really did go out strong with a bang they like they took risk strong risk if i would say and they just made it happen but and plus and i can also say this movie is full of surprises so well just you know without revealing anything or without spoiling anything guys i love star wars episode 8 the last jedi i give this movie uh four out of five that just you know just being fair four out of five this movie is excellent it was great I'm not saying it was perfect because, you know, a lot of movies, you know, there aren't such, there's no such thing as perfect movies, guys. But I give this movie a four, four out of five. In the comment section below, if you did see um, Star Wars The Last Jedi, what did you think of it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below without revealing any spoilers, guys. Because we know how we, we get with, when people spoil something, so be civil about it. Do not spoil this movie for anybody. Please don't. But other than that, I love this movie. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I am Vengeance. I am Darkness. I am Blackwing. Stay golden.